The Cedarburg Cultural Center would like to welcome artist Judith Curvin as the July Artist in Residence. Thanks for being here this month, Judith. Well, thank you for having me. Can you start by telling us a little bit about the media that you work in and what the focus of your current work is? Okay, I work in uh, oil, acrylic for painting, oil for printmaking, and I do jewelry from natural gemstones, semi-precious stone and natural materials. Wonderful. So who are your, what are your inspirations and what is it about art that excites you? Everything about art excites me. I've been um, involved in art since I, and loved it since I was a third grader. I was um, an art teacher in my background and in the graphic arts industry, but I always had art as part of my career. Um, some of my influences for my painting, because my paintings are all over and different in the styles that I've been painting in lately, um, are Milton Avery, George O'Keefe, um, Arthur Dove, I would say are the, are the strongest influences. Um, the concept for my current paintings are, are semi-precious stone. And that's a result of uh, my experience as an artist in my studio where people were asking me if I was painting on stone when I was making my jewelry. And I decided that it would be a fantastic um, neat concept for me to do paintings from and printmaking from it. And it's proven to be endless in its um, source for ideas. So I may stay on it for the rest of my career, or I will expand upon it and evolve with it. It's just been a really exciting journey. So why is it you do this? I do it primarily because I love art, and I'm at a stage in my life where I can do anything I'm passionate about, anything I love when it comes to art. So I do it because of that passion. I love it. And what prepared you for your career today? I think be, my preparation um, has been a lifelong uh, thing where I was a graduate of um, art education in college and had some experience being an art teacher. And as I grew in my um, various positions, um, I kind of grew in my art and experienced it in different ways depending on how my life was, was uh, moving. And so um, it's just been an evolution. Hmm. And how do you view your role in society today as an artist? I think it's mostly as a teacher. I, um, I like to teach techniques and skill as a, as a painter and printmaker, but mostly I like to impart the idea that everyone has an inner artist and everyone is creative because we're all part of the creator. And uh, I strongly believe that um, regardless if you think you can draw good or regardless what you think, that you have the potential to be a good artist or, and even a great artist, depending on your, um, your desire. And, and, and of course, there's 90% of doing it too, where you actually have to practice. But I believe it's in, everyone's capable of of being an artist, whether it be in writing or painting or um, dance performance. Mm -hmm. What a great rep message to remember. So what have been some of your greatest successes along the way? Well, my greatest successes are just right at this point in my life, being able to do what I love and, um, and growing in the experience of painting and, and being creative. Uh, to get better, more skillful, and also being able to explore different mediums. It's just, it's just exciting. Wonderful. So how do you continue to challenge yourself as an artist? I continue to challenge myself by changing it up, changing my um, uh, intention for various artworks up. Sometimes I'm trying to be very explicit in, in my um, representation of, of a stone. Other times I combine um, different uh, images and compositions I see in a stone and create 
one uh, large piece from that from just several ideas. Uh, there's endless possibilities from this subject matter, and it's what I feel the best about is that it came as an original idea within what I had been doing through my experience, and I'm passionate about it, and that's what I think all art should be to all individuals, something you're passionate about, and it's your own journey. It's not necessarily something that you're necessarily doing for commercial um, means or anything else other than because you love it. Well, it's been wonderful having you here this month. Thanks for being with us, Judith. You bet. Thank you again.